All right, guys, what lies beyond this door? My little pleasure room, my red room. Is my new gaming man cave, if you will. Now, what I need to announce before we do this is it's still a work in progress. If you notice, there's no carpet. The fan and lights are not hung yet. There's still mud on the walls. All this stuff is a work in progress, but I figured if I waited until I actually had this room to where I wanted to and I was savvy with sharing it with you guys, it would be months down the line. So for now, ignore what's going on with the room itself and worry about what's going on on the inside. So let's just jump straight in. I want to show you my setup video here. So as you can see, the tools are still there. Yeah, that's nice. There's our light and you can see all the spots on the walls so no one can hear what happens. So, a lot of you guys are always curious about what's going on. This is the little computer that I've been streaming on. Playing games, period, recording and editing for a long time. A lot of people flip when I say, hey, I use a laptop to record and everything like this. Asus sent me this out a while back and it's, I believe it's the G750JZ or something. I think that's the, the, the model. Um, of course, it's got the i7, it's got an 880M, which I believe translates to roughly a 760, maybe a 770. Um, but it's great. Um, I've streamed on this. I use OBS when I stream. Lots of great things come from it. I've obviously got a second mount over here and worry about that. I'll talk about that screen in a minute. It's a troll. But this is what I work with. The mouse and, and, and pad I prefer are the Rocket Hero. And uh, the Hero. And I like the cones. I don't know what it is. They just, they just fit my hand perfectly. I, I just like the basic cones, not the large ones or anything like that. Uh, as for headset, we have our baby right here. This one I've been using for a little bit, I'd say about a year now. Again, I'm a big fan of the Rocket products. This is what I've been using for a long time now. This is great, this thing. These things are a lot cheaper, actually. The full kits are far cheaper than uh, the, the competitors out there. Like Astros are insanely good, just like the Caves are. If not, the Caves may be better, to be completely honest. But uh, the price range is really what separates the two. It's got Bluetooth capable, mute. As you can see, these mics have that little uh, LED light on the tip. But these things are incredible. Uh, moving on over to the console portion, we have the Xbox One and the PS4, and uh, I have yet to unbox or use the brand new HD60 from Elgato. I've always used the other one, and I've always preferred Elgato to the competitors out there. They're, they're, they're compact. They're the size of a phone. They're literally the size of a phone, and, and they're, they're, they're very tiny. You can fit it in your pocket, and they're an HDMI cord, and it's just it's easy. You can take it anywhere you want. i got a scuff controller, as you guys can see down here. For the PS4 in blue, that's a uh, it's a broom right there in the uh, in the blood red camo. Comes equipped, a limited edition dustpan with it. It's pretty nice, and uh, that's the desktop that I was using before this laptop came along. Now it's it's a little bit outdated. I think it's got like a 670 in it, so of course I don't bother streaming with that when I've got that. Uh, as for my mic, we have the little stand here and the little cheap filter, and this is the blue Yeti. I've got a couple of those. So I'm sure you guys are kind of curious about what the hell this thing is over here, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but yeah, that's pretty beast. Uh, let's talk about the accessories I use with the, uh, the actual tower here. That's the Isku, and the reason I use the Isku over the Ryus is simply because mechanical keyboards, when you're dealing with recording, uh, they, the clickety-clacks just pick up on microphones left and right, so I don't really dabble in that, I prefer the Isku when I'm talking about uh, using that for recording purposes, and the Tion, which I've used once or twice, uh, the thing is ridiculous. It's got it's it's got so many buttons and it's it's insanely nice. You know, I was intimidated by it at first. I won't lie. And then of course the brand new rocket. Come here, guys. The brand new 5.1 true analog. Now they just released these, by the way, and I have one of these to give away to you guys. If you're curious about it, just leave a comment down below. I would like a cave. K-A-V-E. I'll leave a link in the description as well so you guys can check these out and find out exactly what they're all about. But, um, yeah, I've been using these things for a long time. I was never satisfied with a handful of the others out there, like Turtle Beaches and stuff. But these are amazing. As you can see, I've not set this up. This is still a work in progress. I haven't hooked everything back up. Uh, this thing's also got a cool little mount thing that you can kind of plug it into and it can sit. Because I've never been one of the guys that wants to wear these. Come on, that's, that's why pagers died. So... This thing is really, really cool. Um, it's, the sound quality is great. Once you've used one of these, you'll realize that there is not a better one out there. That's what I found so surprising because Rocket is, is relatively unknown over here in the States. Uh, so it's, it's good that they're getting over here finally and they're spreading their wings and getting stuff out there because I think they have the best, con uh, the best content, the best 
uh, you know, programs and, and, and hardware and everything they've put out there. They're very innovative. So that's what I use personally. That's what I dig. Now, you're probably curious about this big contraption right here. This thing was sent to me by Obudo or Obutto. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> it's an O with the word but with two T's and an O on the other end. I know it's, it's, a, it's a very unusual name, but these things are godly. And believe it or not, I had a lot of fun putting this thing together, as you can see down there on the on the little pad down there, it's a little dirty because the uh, the drywall and whatnot. But this thing is an insane contraption. This thing comes default with everything you see, this middle stand and this middle post. These extra two and these are add-ons. So you can always buy your own version. These things are absolutely incredible and they call them, okay, with the immature kids, this is a rooster pit. Yeah, well, it's a rooster pit. So you have this, this is set for the racing things and or if you're a smoker, maybe an ashtray. But this thing is absolutely amazing. All of these things move and rotate. So, you know, I, I that, that screen over there is not mountable. So that's why this is not up and running right now. So right now I just have a TV. Now I could obviously just root into this, but this is what my TV is gonna be. The other two is gonna be main for the, uh, the desktop. That's what I have to do with. So the other two screens that I have are not mountable. I gotta get two new ones. But these things are awesome. They, they obviously move. I can bend it upwards. I can bend it downwards. These things are on the lever. So if I wanted to sit right in front of this thing, I could bring it in front. I can do whatever I want with it. And they're on these arms. So I can bend them and do whatever the hell I want with them, put them where I want. And it's, it's awesome. These things are pretty great. So that's pretty awesome. Now, of course, this thing has a whole lot of potential. And I know this is a lot of talking about this, but when you do want to bring something in, whether or not it's your screen or whatever you have, you have this and you have this comfortable racing chair that I'm in. These things are just added in here as keyboard mounts, so you can you can obviously lift and move these around. Uh, they're all on arms as well, as you can see. These things swivel and come around and whatever the hell else you want to do with them. Put pizza on one end, whatever you want to do. But this could be another keyboard mount. You can, um, it's got the little grabs right here, so things can't fall. You can uh, put a tablet or something of sorts on there. Whatever you want to do with that. Um, this right here is a main one. This could be bent down, do whatever you want. You can actually mount another, a fourth potential display on this. Uh, I personally, as a person that has dealt with YouTube and recording, this would have been a great location for a microphone. So that would have been incredible to have a long time ago. But we have the two wings, as you can see, they still have the thing on it. I haven't peeled this off yet, but it's like a glossy finish, and it's really, really nice. These things are great. These are add-ons, just like the additional two uh, monitor mounts. So we're going to go ahead without damaging anything. We're going to scoot that one back out of the way. Get the tootsies up here. Oh, God, those feet are sexy. And then we'll bring this guy in here. And this is your keyboard and everything. Now, I haven't put, because this room is still dirty, I haven't put the uh, the rubber and everything on it, but if I wanted to, this would be my mount. I can do what I want with this thing. Move it around, it rotates as well. On a swivel, and it, it can just move around. So this thing is incredible. So uh, as, as, as usual, these things are race car chairs. So just like any other chair in a car, you can move back and forward by holding the front, get your right positioning. Um, and over here, I haven't put the case on the actual lever, but just like you can recline. You can recline, I think, almost all the way back. And what is not can complete without a nice cup holder on the side, right? Right? So this thing is, in fact, the ultimate beast. Hang on, let's get back. Come here. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's where we were. So get in your spot. And that's what we're working with. So this thing is an ultimate gaming machine. It is the Obutto cockpit. So you've got your keyboard mount, and this all comes with it. These two wings are add-ons, the two other things are add-ons, but either way, I mean, people spend like three, four hundred dollars on these racing chairs alone. Invest your money into something good and buy the Doc Ock of like awesome gaming machine setups right here. You know what I mean? This thing is insane and I had a lot of fun building it. It did take me a good six hours to build solo. So with friends or help or um, a, a cool Asian friend, this thing could be done in no time. You know what I mean? This thing would be great and it'd be amazing. And, uh, I, I fully support this. I I was I was excited to do this. Like when my wife's like, hey, can you build me this end table? I'm like, no. But building something like this was fun. So that's what I have to say. As you guys know, we have the cave we can give away as well. 
Rocket, as you can tell, is completely my theme. It's the only thing I work with because I love their products and their their company entirely. Their, their representatives are amazing. Um, so that's what we're working with right there. That's the laptop, the G750JZ, the Xbox One. The Elgato device is what I use to capture console gameplay with. I have the HD60 I haven't used yet, but I've heard great things about. Uh, as for mice, I prefer the cone. The Tyon's amazing as well, but the cone is where I go. Uh, the Isku for those that are trying to record. If you weren't recording, I'd say the Rios would probably be the best way for you to go. And the Cave True 5.1 analog is kind of where things are going now. So uh, if you want to be the guy that wants to be the guy that has all the stuff in the Friends of Jelly, get one of those. And this is just a regular screen staring at me. So that's that, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video, and I will catch you guys around sometime.